high fifth grade students and families. This is Mrs. Gleese. I'm the band teacher at Cambridge Middle School. Hi, I'm Ms. Teese and I teach choir at Cambridge Middle School. Hello, I'm Mrs. Kennedy and I teach band at Isanti Middle School. Hello, fifth graders. I'm LaDonna Larson and I teach choir at Isanti Middle School. Whether you will be attending Cambridge or Isanti, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the middle school next fall. Both Cambridge and Isanti are wonderful schools with excellent teachers and students. Our schools offer a variety of classes that will not only challenge you, but also encourage the development of new skills, talents, and interests. Each student will have a set of core classes such as math, science, social studies, language arts, and bi -ed. Each of those classes will automatically be placed into your middle school schedule. In addition, every student in sixth grade will also be required to be in a music class. Your choices are band and or choir. To help you decide which music class and instrument selection that's best for you, we've created this special video and various resources for you and your parents. Our goal is to provide you an overview of what it's like to be part of the band and choir. After you've finished watching this video, it's important that you and your parents carefully consider your class selection and then complete and submit the music registration form. This is your opportunity to make a choice and have input into your sixth grade music schedule. Be sure to complete and return that registration form on time so that we can include you in the music class that you choose. Please pay close attention to the following information aimed at helping you make the best decision for your middle school music career. Again, welcome and thank you. Hello fifth graders, I'm Mrs. Kennedy and I teach band at Isanti Middle School. We are excited to meet you and work with you this fall in band class. We start things simple in sixth grade band and then advance to more advanced music in the next few years. The instruments of the sixth grade band are the flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, French horn, trombone, and percussion. It's highly recommended that students interested in percussion have at least two years of piano lessons prior to enrolling. At our schools, we divide the sixth grade band students into smaller band classes for the day-to-day -day instruction. Then we combine our multiple classes together for concerts throughout the year. It's amazing to see and hear the whole sixth grade band play together at these concerts. Here's a look at the instruments of the band. This is Jasmine, and she plays the flute. The flute, which is made of metal, is a member of the woodwind family. The flute plays the high notes in the band. This is Maria, and she plays the clarinet. The clarinet is made of wood and is also a member of the woodwind section. It produces sound by vibrating a single reed into vibration. This is Josh, and he plays the alto saxophone. The alto saxophone is made of brass and is also a member of the woodwind family. It produces sound by vibrating a single reed into vibration. This is Clay and he plays the trumpet. The trumpet is made of brass and is a member of the brass family. The trumpet produces sound by buzzing the lips. Pushing down the valves changes the pitches or notes the trumpet plays.
This is Nathan, and he plays the horn. The horn is also a member of the brass family and also produces sound by buzzing the lips. This is Jacob, and he plays the trombone. The trombone is another member of the brass family. It changes pitch by moving the trombone slide. This is Derek, and he plays percussion. If you want to play percussion, you will learn more than one instrument at the same time. In the sixth grade, you will learn bells and snare pad. The bells produce sound by being struck with mallets. The snare drum produces sound by striking the drum head with a stick. Here's how the band instruments sound together. If you choose to be part of the band, practicing is very important. You will be expected to practice your instrument and the various playing assignments at home each week to ensure that you're getting better and better. Simply put, practicing is essential to learning a band instrument. If you choose band, you will need your own instrument to play. Most parents will rent an instrument from a music store and the cost can vary between $25 to $55 per month depending upon the instrument. Some students may already have an instrument from a family member, neighbor, or a friend. Other families may choose to buy a quality used instrument. The choice is up to you and your parents how you get your instrument. Remember, you're going to need an instrument when school starts in September. Hello, fifth graders. I'm LaDonna Larson, and I teach choir at Isanti Middle School. Choir is a place to belong, to work hard together, and to learn to sing as a team. You will develop skills in your singing as you sing with others, and you'll grow in your individual musicianship as well. Students will be introduced to music theory, sight singing, and music from other cultures, music theater, and different choral styles. You will be instructed on correct breathing, posture, and singing techniques that will help you develop your own unique voice. Hello, fifth graders. I'm Ms. Teese, and I teach choir at Cambridge Middle School. We want choir to be fun and lead to an appreciation of how music and singing are important. Students involved in music develop social and emotional maturity and exercise parts of their brain that will help them to succeed in other areas of academics and life. In choir, we endeavor to create an environment that will inspire you to not just be a consumer of music, but a creator. Music is a wonderful way to express yourself and you don't have to be a soloist to sing in a choir. Joining your voice with many others takes out the fear factor and you can simply enjoy making music. Here's a look at the different voices of the choir. Your voice is also an instrument. A choir uses their voices to sing different parts of a song. Here are the sopranos.
Here are the altos. Here are the tenors. Here are the basses. Here's how all four parts sound together in a choir. Well, students, we've heard a lot of great music and received a lot of information for you and your parents to think over. Now you have a decision to make. A few things to keep in mind when you're making your final decision. Do you like to sing? Cost of an instrument. Are you going to rent, buy, or borrow? The characteristics of that band instrument. The size, the sound. And finally, your commitment to practicing at home. Learning to play an instrument takes dedication and practice. A website has been created to give you information and capture your music selection. Look for a link to this site in your email, on your school's homepage, and in your principal's weekly newsletter. Once you complete and submit your online registration form found on this website, our office staff will begin to create a unique schedule for you based on your selection. If you and your parents need additional information, please connect with one of the music teachers you saw in this video. We are happy to answer any individual questions you may have. Again, we are excited for you to join our great music department and our outstanding school community next year. Go Big Blue!